of his book, Two Generation Strategy. Round of applause for Otis. Good afternoon. My social innovation is called a two generation strategy. And lucky for me, the William Penn Foundation gave me $438,000 to implement the first two generational program here in the city of Philadelphia. Now you may ask, well, what is the two generation strategy? It's very simple. And if you pull out your handouts or you look at this board right here, it's basically combining quality early childhood education along with quality workforce development services and other supportive services for the parents of those children. Now, why do we want to do that? Well, if you look at the research, the research tells us that the easiest way to reduce poverty is to improve educational outcomes, improve work levels, and also to strengthen the families. Research also tells us that the biggest predictor of a child's economic success is their, their parents' educational attainment. And we also know from the Brookings Institute that it takes about five generations in order to change the, the advantages or the disadvantages of family outcomes. Well, I would submit that we can't wait five generations to reduce poverty in the city of Philadelphia. And that's why we have to take a two-generation approach. And it's quite simple. If you look at the arrow on the upper right-hand side, you see the long-term impact of investing in early childhood education, quality early childhood education. But what we got to do at the same time is make sure these children are going home to stable homes. I run two quality early childhood education centers. And a child could be here today and gone tomorrow because their family is homeless or, or the mom is jobless or there's food insecurity in the home. So we got to address those two. So through our two-generation strategy, we address both all at one time. Now we know this all to be true, but most anti-poverty programs do one or the other, not both. Most anti-poverty programs focus on either the parents or either the children, but not both. And through our two-generation strategy, we plan to turn all that around. Now there's five facilitating factors that make a successful two-generation strategy. And you can see that on your upper left hand side of the board. It's supportive, poli supportive policy framework, leadership, program administration, integrated and flexible funding streams. Thank you, William Penn, for that. And evidence-oriented culture. And we have that. We have a two-generation advisory committee where we put policymakers on the committee. So our advisory committee is represented by Governor Bush's office. U.S. Senator Pat Toomey's office, State Senator Anthony Williams' office, State Senator, my time is up, but you get my point. <laughs> Two-generation strategy, that is a social innovation.